Joseph asks a very simple question, I think. My question is regarding how you implement core training uh, into your athletes. Um, do I do core specific exercises? Well, um, if you read 40 Years of the Whistle, I tell you everything in, in, in that book, but I don't even know what you mean by core anymore. I used to understand what people meant, but if you're doing heavy suitcase carries, you know, with uh, whether you know Kila, 45 kilos per hand, one handed carry, uh, 45 kilos in it, or 100 pounds in one hand, and you go for a walk, call me tomorrow and we'll talk about core. Uh, we do core in the movement. Um, core, and it's, it's a terrible word because if you mean bracing or what we call it, anaconda strength, uh, I'm a little closer in understanding what you mean. But you would never walk up to a javelin thrower and say, do you work your core? Because all you need to do is see the event and just check out their 7, 8, 9, 12 packs that they walk around with on a normal day. Um, we train core in loaded carries, back squats, the hinge family, uh, the anti-rotation work. That would be like the one-arm bench press and the one-arm row uh, on usually a suspension trainer. But yeah, all those things are core. Uh, I don't believe in this Frankenstein's monster training at all. Arm day, leg day. I don't, none of that. I don't like that. In fact, I don't like it when someone tells me that they're, they're doing an exercise like front squats and, oh, I feel it in my quads because that's just nonsense the way the human body works. Um, there's a new way of looking at muscles. You don't have 600 muscles. You have one muscle divided up into 600 places. I like that much better. So yes, Obviously, we do a lot of them. Um, <laughs> if you snatch over 300 pounds, you'll understand tension and core very, very well. Okay.